So today we're going to take a look at how to install the Arduino IDE on Windows 10. It'll be version 1.8.13. Type in Arduino IDE or I Arduino IDE download in your favorite search engine like Google or Bing or something. And choose probably the first choice is probably the one you'll you'll end up getting. You can um, you could do the online uh, IDE, but it's not going to work with um, uh, it might not work like we want. So we're going to download it on to Windows directly, and we'll choose the Windows executable, which is the first option of the three Windows options right there, the first one at the top. You could choose to donate uh, to the project, just download instead if you don't want to, and the download will take anywhere from one minute to say 10 minutes, depending on your internet connection. From there, we're going to fire up the executable, and you'll see right here, hit agree, use all the defaults, and it'll install in the regular place that it installs in. There's only an x86 version as opposed to an ARM or a 64-bit um, version. So it's a 32-bit Intel application. We just choose all those defaults. And then when it's finished installing, which could take anywhere from a minute to 10, go to the Cortana search bar at the bottom and type in Arduino and fire up the application. Once the application is fired up, what you want to do is take a look at what serial ports are being used by your computer without plugging in your board. Okay, so uh, in this case, I just fired up the application one more time. And so you unplug the board, fire up the application, and we're going to take a look at the port complement on your computer basically what, what it detects is ports and so we're not going to choose any of the ports that it has on there by default so we're going to go to tools and then ports in here let's move this so i can see the board itself so tools port we see the serial, the serial port com3 is already taken so i'm now going to plug in the board you see it's powered and this works for any of the Arduino boards. I go to port and I can see that COM4 is now available. My board is connected to COM4. That's good. And then I'm going to choose the Arduino Uno as the board type. Depending on your version of the board, it could be something different. Now I'm going to compile and send the blink example, which was found in, in file and examples. It'll compile, it'll download to the board. And you'll see the transmit and receive lights flash on the board as it's going to transmit after compiling. That's what I'm pointing to on the board right now. Depending on your board, those LEDs will be somewhere different. But when you've got good communication going on over USB, you'll see those flash. And then when it's finished flashing, there we go, then we'll get the blinking. In this case, it's a blue light. But depending on your board, it could be something different. And there you have it. 